Hello everyone. Uh, this is lecture four, uh, which covers part of chapter three, relation ordered and function. I believe I believe you can read rest of the content in the textbook by yourself. They were not hard. Uh, however, I think um, you may need to use some help on this part to do quiz four. To do quiz four. So here is it. Okay. Um, first of all, what is relation? Actually, the relation is a simple, simple concept. A relation is simply a set of ordered pairs. So, for example, if we have two sets, this guy and this guy, we just pair them together. A is linked to one. B is linked to two and three at the same time, and C is linked to three. And notice that uh, the first element is called domain, so A, B, C are in the domain, and the second element are in the are in the range. Okay, so one to three is in the range, or you can call it called domain. Okay, um, there are at least three ways to represent a relation. We can use this one. Use sentence A R one, B R two, B R three, and C R three. So A is this guy. This position is the first element. This position is. The, Position is the second element, or we can use a, a predicate predicate logic form, formula like this: F R in the parenthesis and the first element and the second element. These two things are identical, just notational difference. And then another notation is to use set. Actually, a re as we have the definition here, a relation is simply a set of ordered pair. We can define、uh, a relation using the set notation. So R equal sign and a curly bracket, and use angled angled angle per parenthesis to represent pair, ordered pair. So A one, B two, B three, and C four. And then what is what is function? A function is a special kind of relation where every element of the domain is paired with just one element of the range.、Uh, we need to highlight one here. Okay, so a domain is paired with just one element, not two or more. Okay, so for example. This one is not a function because of b. Okay, notice that b is paired with two and three at the same time. Okay, and the second chart, this guy is a function because every element in the domain is just one element in the range. Okay, what about this guy? We got b and c. Paired up with the same element two here, will this be a function? Yes, this is a function as well. We don't care、um, the number. We only care about、uh, one domain is paired to one range. But it doesn't matter if two two guys in the domain are paired up with. It's the same elements in the range. Okay, and actually we can convert all the. the、uh, okay, so. We can convert all the, the group to all the. the Uh, which means that we are going to define all the group using all the pair. 
For example, if we have a order the group, we got five elements. In this group. What I need to do, we just group out the first two guys, A and B. I use red to represent the first element and blue to represent the second element. So we got five elements here and the first one is here, first guy, second second element is B. So we can combine the first two guys as a order the pair first. Okay, and we got four elements. One, two, three, four. And then we do the same thing, we combine the first element and the second element as a pair. So A B is of A B and C would be another new another new pair. Okay. And now this is the first guy, this is the second guy, and we combine these two things together to form a new pair. So we have uh, here and here as a new pair. Okay. And this this new pair is paired with E. Now we got two elements here, now we have a pair. And actually this procedure can be implemented in Prolog. You may click this link to go to Pro to go to the website to play with this implementation. And then, um, actually, we can also define an order the pair by the notation using the notation of set. So, um, an order the pair x and y can be defined in this manner. Um, this would be a set with the set of first element as the element of this, this new set and both of them as the second element of this set okay now we may try um, okay given this given this definition okay we can try to uh, define a more complex order the pair okay so if we have an ordered group A, B, C, we'll, we will need to convert them to an ordered pair first. So as the procedure we just seen in the last slide, slide we have the first two guys together as the as a pair and then pair with the second one. That's the third one, C. Okay. Now this pair will be uh, okay. We can combine this pair to set first we just uh, you may think of, of A as X and B as Y A A as X and B as Y okay then we, you, you just need to copy this guy to here right A and AB a set with two subsets a, a, a set with two sets as its members. Okay. We just leave C alone here. Now we got another order the pair, right? This this set will be the first element of this order the pair. C will be the second element. Now we do the same procedure. This time. This whole thing would be X and C would be Y. Okay. So we are going to put this thing into a set. Okay. Right, we'll put it into a set. And then um, this guy will combine with, uh, with C as the second set okay we just combine this guy with C curly bracket and then we finish the conversion okay um, so um, after li this lecture will give you a lot of hints on how to do quiz 4 and good luck see you next time